Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thailand Dreaming, Love Letters from Retirement. This is part two of the short two-part series I'm doing on Can You Meet a Good Thai Lady Through Internet Dating? In this uh, couple of videos, uh, I travel to Bang San and uh, meet up with someone that uh, I met on the internet. So, uh, I'm no uh, relationship counsellor, that's for sure, but it was an interesting uh, exercise for me. I was uh, and have been alone for quite some time, and uh, I just felt like I wanted to try and find someone, a companion, some companionship, maybe some love, you know, and... Uh, you know, I knew I wasn't going to find that in a bar anywhere. So um, I started looking at uh, the internet, a particular dating service that was free actually. And I was talking to quite a few ladies, quite a few ladies, you know. I want to tell the story because uh, I know that a lot of people do this, whether they admit it or not. A lot of people do it. You know, everyone, you know, especially around uh, my pension at age yeah we like to have a companion you know some sort of companionship and some sort of relationship so i felt the need and so uh, i struck out on this uh, particular direction and so i went to bangsan i stayed there for four days i don't know why i chose to go and meet this particular lady it was uh, a different sort of uh, woman that, than what I had pictured in my mind. You know, we all have conceptualised ideas in, in our mind and a picture of what and who we want and what they may look like and what their experience might be, etc., etc. And I don't know why I chose out of about 15 people that I was talking to who were all very nice by the way all extremely nice and uh, some I still have a chat with now and again um, I don't know why I picked this particular lady something struck me I don't know destiny fate whatever you know so anyway I head off to Bang San and as it was you know I was pretty nervous I was pretty nervous and uh, as was she so anyway things went really well we really struck it off we really struck a note with each other and uh you know i had the five days in bang san which uh there'll be some stuff in this video about that little trip to bang san and uh but just to let you know you know how did it go which is what this video was uh, originally about uh i spent an extra day in Bang San because we had such a great time together and uh, came home and two days later uh, she came here to Cha Am and is still here now and uh, most likely will uh, come back to stay shortly and uh, just to let you know that this uh, I think that uh, this internet dating thing it can work things can be good you can meet someone very special uh at the moment i'm sort of pretty sure i've met someone so special special and uh incredibly compatible and uh compatibility between two people is extremely important so just to let you all know that uh yes it's uh, worked out extremely well and uh, i'm really pleased uh, She's really pleased, and uh, yeah, it was. Uh, it's, oh, I'm shocked. I'm shocked at how well it went. So yeah, let's have a look at Bang San anyway. So there you go. It worked. It worked well, really well. Okay, so uh, we we'll have a look at Bang San now, and uh, now you know, and uh, it went really well. So the internet dating exercise was uh, successful and uh, I'm really pleased. I have done internet dating before 
and it worked out pretty well as well. But in the long run, after a few years, and then finally living together, it went tits up. Uh, there wasn't the compatibility, there wasn't the understanding, uh, there wasn't the appreciation, uh, I felt anyway, and so I left that relationship. Uh, this feels incredibly different, incredibly different, and incredibly compatible, and uh, a lot of appreciation for each other and for each other's feelings. So, um, yeah. So it went well. Hope you enjoyed the video around uh, Bang San. Some interesting stuff, some beautiful stuff. Yeah, so thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Only cost you a couple of seconds of your time. Please share the videos and like the videos. Please make some comments. I really love to hear what you've got to say. Um, anything you want to see, anything you'd like me to improve. Uh, I'm definitely not a Steven Spielberg, but, uh, you know, I try. So please enjoy. Ciao for now. Okay, so I got a punctured tyre. I got it plugged as an emergency fix. And I've been hunting around almost all day, stinking hot, for a tyre to fit this thing. <coughs> not many people had them. But I finally found a place and I'm putting a Pirelli on the back, but I'm getting some new gas shocks. This is like a, a racing fit out shop. And uh, these are some of the bikes, little 125s that they race in Thailand. They're absolutely amazing. Look at these things. They sound like uh, a cross between a lawnmower and a sewing machine, but uh, they're absolutely awesome and they really race them, I tell you. Look at this one here, beautiful looking machine. We're doing mine here. Getting a new Pirelli on the back. And uh, some uh, nitrogen gas shocks as well. Improve the ride a little bit, I think, on some of the longer trips I do. Yeah, so good job. They've got some crap in here. Background music may breach my uh, copyright, but uh, I'm not making any money off YouTube anyway, so. Uh, that's my uh, third day in. Bang San, fixing the bike, went out to do some stuff and ended up spending most of the day fixing the bike. Mind you, didn't get to bed till 10 o'clock and then went for a swim at 11 after breakfast. So these are panels that you can get that are carbon fibre. They look really nice on the bikes. And they don't scratch up, of course. So thinking about getting that at some stage as well. But this shop's got absolutely everything. Everything. Check it out. Everything. From helmets to wheels to uh, sprockets. Uh, gas shocks. These are something like the ones I'm getting on the back of mine. They got everything here. It's amazing. Thailand's amazing. Kids bike helmets. So really there's no excuse for people riding around with kids with no helmets on. Yeah. Other than the heat. Yeah, got everything here, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Pretty too. And it's nice and cool in here. It's a stinking hot day. Sweating like a pig. Yeah, so Bang San, getting the bike repaired. Relatively easy, little bit expensive, but you know. You buy shit, cheap shit, you get cheap shit. So Pirelli tyre on the back and nitrogen gas. Shock. Patiently waiting. Don't think I've met a woman this patient in all my life. So patient and helpful.
Ed, he owns the shop here. The shop is uh, Yingle Ting, yeah? Yingle Racing, Ying Racing. And uh, the team here, I've been watching them. Uh, unlike most other parts in Asia, they've used the correct tools for everything. Double check everything, they're doing a great job. And you know, I've been here about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Got the new tire and the new shops on, just putting everything back together now. Yeah, fantastic service. So, because I decided to uh, make a video, video about my little sojourn in uh, Bangsan and uh, trip to Pattaya, thought I'd look for something else. And uh, yesterday, inadvertently, came across this uh, Chinese temple. So, going in there to uh, have a look today. Pretty ornate looking thing. Right on the main road through the Long Bang Sand Beach. Pretty ornate looking stuff. Yeah, so, interesting. Going in here to have a look around. So hot, I'm really hating having these masks in this hot weather. Really stifling. Yeah, so this place looks interesting. Just for some visuals, you yeah, know, of course, dragons everywhere. Some nice stone, really nice stone stuff here. Look at this table and chairs made out of limestone. I think they're carved out of limestone. I don't think they're manufactured. Yeah, beautiful. Look at this. Yeah. So interesting. We'll have a look around at this temple. Really interesting. Of course, we're parked down the road. Oh, I love this Chinese stuff. It's just incredible. Really ornate. Yeah. Really ornate stuff. Yeah. the guarding of the temple wow just wow this is really pretty I'm so glad I stopped in here quite a different temple to what I'm used to the uh, usually uh, putting in my videos yeah really 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 pretty Two, three levels. Like something out of a kung fu movie, one of those old Chinese kung fu movies. The sun's reflecting on the screen. I can't really see the shot that I'm shooting, but I hope it's okay. Really? You got the big drum up there. Oh, this section is closed. take off your shoes no smoking that section is closed so we'll go around the other side and see what we can hear and see if we can go in here no one said no so maybe can have a look in here look at that
beautiful artwork. Siddhartha. This is really, truly a beautiful place. This is where you uh, do your prayers to Buddha. Special people come. <laughs> Some kind of special people. It's a special room. Pictures of the royal family, of course. Check this out. Check this out. It is pretty though, it is really, really pretty. Imagine wouldn't they go off their heads if I put the drone up here, which was my original plan. Dragon's the big theme, of course. I'm so sorry. 